Hello and welcome to the, another episode of Exposed Experience, where we showcase amazing people and their stories, and they will tell us why they do what they do. So, but before we go into today's episode, I like you guys to press the like button. Okay, please support us by pressing the like button gently, <laughs> and like us on our Facebook page, Instagram. YouTube, TikTok. All right. Yes, TikTok. Thank you very much. Follow us too, please. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Without you guys, we are nothing. So yes. thank the viewers. <laughs> Continue to support us. Yes. Now, Zuria, how long have you been wearing your spectacles? Wow, I've been wow. Actually, I've been wearing my spectacles for almost over ten years now. I think over ten now years. Twenty, right? Eight years old. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve years old. Yeah. yeah oh. Yeah. So how do you realize that you needed spectacles? Because I'm quite tall. Okay. So I always like like will be at the back of the classroom. Then okay. I realized that when I was like it that like started getting blurry. Mm. Then I need to like move forward and all. And then like oh you know how second primary school also had the eye checks with Yes, right? yes, yes. And then you know, then the person told me, Oh, your degree, like your eyes a bit wonky. Uh. Then um I got referred to uh Specialist uh, and I see. Yeah, so it didn't worsen over the years. Um, actually, like reduced. Like, it got a bit wonky. I okay. had astigmatism in one eye and different degrees in ah, both eyes. Ah, okay. I see. Yeah. No wonder. So, viewers, tell us your experience when you started to wear spectacles. If you wore them, yeah. And if you are not wearing them, uh, tell us your, you know, experience of not wearing spectacles because I thought I had seven seven eyesight. Six six. Six six. six. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. So yeah. people who don't wear spectacle, we don't can't differentiate six and seven. <laughs> right? <laughs> so comment down below. Tell us our experience. Okay? Because today we have yeah. Wei Wen from Hi, My Hello. Eye Matters who will share with you guys the importance of eye care. Alright? And also her journey for why she started My Eye Matters. Yeah. So Wei Wen. Thank you for coming today. Thank now, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got this question. Uh, why, I, why do you do what so you do? So specific. Yeah, yeah, so specific. Well, um, there are many reasons uh, why eye care is so um, you know, special to me. The first is, of course, personal. Um, my father had r his retinas detached oh when dear. I was 13 years old. When he was only 42, right? That was many years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember he came home one day and then he said to me, look, I'm going to go for an emergency operation the next day. Otherwise, I'm going to go blind. And at that time, I said, like, honestly, I had no idea what, what was a retina, what was detachment. Mm -hmm. But he, he said to me, um, he went to his regular optician, which we all go to get spectacles from, and he thought there was something wrong with his glasses. And the optician said, no, like, you need to see an eye doctor now, right? And luckily he did, right? So, um, and, and why it's so, so, so important to me is that now, as a mother of two, um, I am, you know, I cannot imagine what it would be like mm -hmm. if my father had gone blind, if he had not, you know, sought treatment early enough he would not be able to see his grandchildren's, mm. right? Like beautiful smiles. And wow. I think for me, it's, it's, it goes beyond just, you know, about health, but it goes, you know, into what it means for a family or across generations mm. if someone were to lose sight. Mm. Yeah. General uh. life experiences. Yeah. Wow. Of course, the other trigger is um, I was working for the world's largest vision care company. Um, in the last six years um, and they manufacture spectacle lenses mm -hmm. and I was very involved in um, projects all over the world that were mm -hmm. bringing vision care to people who had never done eye exams before or never even worn glasses or had access to them and uh, it was perhaps understandable 
that you know a 60 year old woman in a rural village in china did not you know know what eyeglasses were right yeah. or you know had never checked her vision before and was for example relying on her daughter-in-law to sew because she could no longer see mm. right the thread or relying on them to cook because she yeah. couldn't see clearly but interestingly enough i was also interviewing people in uh cities right okay. young people like yourselves right 20 21 year olds who essentially had gone through school without mm. wearing glasses even though they knew they needed them and how they coped they just moved you know, from the back of the class to the front of the class each time, <coughs> or they move their sofa closer to the TV at home so uh. that they could watch. And what scared me really was uh, maybe a 23-year-old girl telling me that she is still driving, right, without glasses, just because oh she dear. doesn't like it and she didn't see the importance. But when we put a pair of glasses on her, you know, we could see her eyes lit up and go like, wow. Mm. You know? uh. yeah, so I think it's, it's just amazing, right, how a simple, you know, eye exam, you know, to check whether you have eye, you know, illnesses yeah. can change not just your life, but that of the generations after yeah. you and also a simple pair of glasses. Mm. Mm. Yeah, wow. it's interesting how yeah. we take things for granted, like yeah. our sight. Yeah, right? didn't I d until you explained it to me, I didn't think it would be so impactful. Yeah. Yeah. Now you make me want to go and check my eyes. It's just <laughs> like welcome to, yeah. <laughs> And a usual everyday thing for yeah. us because we see yeah. people with glasses or like contact lenses. Yes. So Yeah, it's almost like mm. a fashion thing. You think about it like, okay, I, I just yeah. want to wear yeah. colour contact lens or yes. I, I want a different <laughs> specs, right? But, you know, after... Yeah, and, and, and you know, some people have perfect vision, right? Mm. Yeah. All their lives and then they do not realise that there are some diseases, right? That um, are, are, you know, are hereditary. For example, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, retina diseases or even glaucoma is what okay. we call a oh. silent killer or, or thief of sight because there are no symptoms. Ah. Right? So you could see perfectly and unless you do a comprehensive eye exam to check, exam to check you would have yeah. no idea whether you have, you know, oh. well, I mean, it's almost like, you know, COVID-19 has to, uh, yeah. you know, has, Ooh, yeah. has people who are asymptomatic and you would That's right. check. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Oh. So it's like a silent killer in a way, In right? a way that it is not really treatable. Yeah. Oh. Cataract, yes, you can go for an operation and treat it. But glaucoma, no. Oh. Yeah. So mm. it's almost like you need to manage it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not to scare yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah. Mm. but it all the more we need to know what we don't yeah. know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Wow. Correct. So I hope today you guys know what you don't know because I don't know what I don't know. Like today, only that I know that there's this thing called glaucoma. I, I've heard of glaucoma and cataract before. Yeah, it's just, I forgot the term. I mean, I forgot what uh. it means, but I just know that they're eye diseases. And I mean, I just didn't think it would like, especially because I'm also very young, I don't think it would come back to me very yes, early. We know you're very young. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't like it would be like hereditary. Yeah. Things. Oh yeah. I mean, there are there are you know eye diseases that hereditary, or if not, if you have hypertension, mm. you know, um, diabetes. Okay. You know, or high myopia, ah. it can also increase uh, right. your risk of eye illnesses. I and see. I mean, you know, there are many people who choose to do LASIK, yeah. right? Yeah. And obviously, that's a choice. Mm. You know, nothing wrong with mm. that, but. Um, People think that they no longer have the risks of my high my the risk I associated with eye diseases, right? That come with mm. high myopia after they do the LASIK. So, for example, if mm. they have so called eight hundred degrees, right? Then yeah. after that, it becomes zero or hundred. Mm. They think that it has no more high myopia, but in reality, in reality, the myopic eye doesn't change, oh. right? Ah. So if if eight hundred degrees puts you at say twenty times the risk of a particular eye illness yes. so that didn't change after LASIK. I see. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Why? Yeah, but of course know. people do LASIK for other reasons. Yeah. Mm. Right. Um, yeah. So speaking of that, right? So, what are some of the things then you think that uh, needs to be de mystified? Ah, plenty. 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 Right. So okay. a we talked about the importance of regular exams. Yes. Whether you you have 6-6 six, six vision yeah. or not, okay. right? Um, depending on your age and mm. the risk factors, you should be taking okay. an eye exam whether you are 6 months old or 80 years old uh. between every 6 months to 2 years. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, okay. And it's the most, um, I would say the most important thing, right, for parents who have young kids like yeah. yourself, yeah. 
um, is really to know that you need to bring your child right for an eye exam early. And if your kid happens to be myopic, mm. um, like my child, right, then you need to bring him for what we call a myopia to 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 let him have access to a myopia management solution. I What's see. That? Yeah. Okay. Basically, um, in in our days when we were kids, right, mm -hmm. we were told, okay, you, when you wear wear glasses to correct your vision, if you have myopic, uh, wear like lower power, mm. the lower the better, mm. or maybe if you wear like exactly your power, it will worsen your vision. That's not true. Okay, right? so and that's not true. Okay, and most importantly, it, we we actually say that it's no longer good to wear just a pair of correction lenses but a pair of control lenses, be it soft contact lenses, hard contact lenses, uh. specialized spectacle lenses that have special designs basically to help slow down your progression of myopia. For example, okay. if your kid is progressing at 100, 100 degrees a year, yeah. it can help perhaps to slow down to like 50 or 25 uh. or less, right? The idea, it may not be from 100 to zero, but the idea is so that it would not progress to high myopia. I see. Like... Uh, like you know my parents like my brother and put okay. you know essentially them and us at risk of ionosis and put our next generation at risk of myopia ah. and eye disease because myopia is partly genetic as well right so i see so yes. it's like my child's grandfather is myopic i'm myopic my husband is myopic he's myopic and it's like a vicious cycle <laughs> right okay, so yeah. i wish okay. right we had access to such solutions when we were kids we don't have now but i mean we don't we didn't have it but now we do I see, oh, okay. I see. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. So, and you talk about kids, right? How young should they, or how, how young yeah. should a kid be before the parents mm, start yeah. thinking about Actually, um, to be honest, I mean, from birth, they already do. I mean, at even oh, okay. honestly, okay. when you give birth, the hospital already checks, right? But ah. obviously, after that, um, you need to go back to the pediatrician or the polyclinic to mm. check. And, oh, and yeah. ideally, okay, yep. actually, if every you know, six months to one year, they should be checking. Six months to one Because year, it's okay. not just myopia, right? There are issues mm. like squint, you know, stress, uh. business, all different kinds of, you know, eye conditions mm. that need to be treated with certain, you know, form of like therapy, mm. you know, not necessary yeah. glasses, depending on the condition. I, I see. see. So, because, yeah. I, mean, I mean, when I was younger also, I didn't have much access to like phones or mm. screen. I didn't much screen yeah. time. I mean, yeah. I still didn't have lah. Now, I think kids, they really do yeah. have a lot mm. more. And, so. and what is really uh, critical actually to help um, delay or prevent mm -hmm. the onset of myopia is going outdoors. It's free. <laughs> Two uh -huh. hours of outdoor <laughs> time a day or 14 mm. hours a week can actually help to mitigate you know, the impact of having two myopic parents like my child. Right. So playing 14 outdoor. Fourteen hours. Fourteen a hours. If a you week. have two myopic parents. Of okay. Course, like for yourself, is your wife myopic? My wife, mm, I don't. Okay, she doesn't wear specs like me. So not very okay. actually not very sure, no. Okay, <laughs> because now that you talk, <laughs> yeah, when you yeah, are talking yeah. But, but about I guess this, if yeah. your kid is is very lucky and has two <laughs> two you know parents who have good vision, then obviously in a way he's he's at a lower chance for you know I would say myopia that's passed down genetically. But if he spends like you know um you know copious hours on near work, yeah. When we say near work, we don't mean just phone, right? Mm. Even if he's just reading like that in poor lighting conditions without taking breaks, yeah. that doesn't help as well. Mm. So it's a very simple rule, 20, 20, 20, right? 20, Every 20, 20, 20 minutes, 20. Okay. look at something that's 20 feet or 6 meters away, like outside okay. the window, mm -hmm. for 20 seconds. Okay, oh, 20, that's, yeah, 20. That's yeah, that's very 20. simple too. Yeah, so remember guys, 20, 20, 20. 20. Okay, and if you guys have any experience about uh, your kids or yourself, you know, with screen time, etc., yeah. put it in the comment section. Okay, and for parents out there, please, if your kid tell you, can I go out and play? Yes, let them go out and play. Let yeah. them go out and play, okay? Wow. It's good to relieve, you know, some of the, the, all the adrenaline in them. Yeah, that's, that's them right, that's right, yeah. Because yes, yes. I do realise people are now... Especially during the circuit breaker, oh, right? Yes. You 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 know you are like constantly oh, yeah. on your screen, yeah. be it on your phone, your mobile devices, yeah. or even your yeah. laptops. You know, and and you know there's there's a, like a bad habit that you know some of us have, including myself, right? Sometimes mm. I'm so tired from looking at the screen, the computer, I actually end up looking. And then I look yeah. At the phone, <laughs> yeah yeah that's right, right. That's, that's, right. Help. that's right that's yeah. right yeah I mean it's yeah. as simple as setting an alarm on your phone right every twenty minutes yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Get okay. out and stretch get you out know, and stretch yeah, environment in general I remember because my boyfriend I have this very bad habit of just doing mm. work in dimly lit places. Oh, then my boyfriend's okay. that he always nag at me. 
turn on the lights, your eye will yeah. that one and yeah. all. The other simple mm. tip is, you know, sometimes we turn off the lights and look at our phone. Yes. Oh. Especially at night before we sleep. Or right. before I sleep. <laughs> um, that can cause sensitivity to glare over time. Ah. Yeah. So I see. The, the general rule is the lighting of the environment should be as bright as your screens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so not advisable to off the lights yeah. and watch Netflix, okay, yes. YouTube. Yeah. Yes, Javier's father. Yes, <laughs> father. I, will, I will stop doing my work in the dark room. Wow. Okay. Well, I've learned a lot about uh, ice yeah. and all, all these little, uh, okay. this little details, right? 20, 20, 20. If that's the one thing you have to take away from 2020 is the 2020-20 Yes, the 2020 <laughs> rules, okay? Yes. 20, In Malay, is what? 20. 20. Yeah, okay. Wow. Need to uh, translate in the... How about brain? Chinese Comment. dialects? Jijap, jijap, jijap. Hokkien. Right? I, I, I was trying to think of like Korean and like Korean. Korean. What okay, is Korean? I don't know. Niju, Niju, Niju in Japanese. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, 2020, 20. Yes. 20, 20, yes. Yeah. Wow. And speaking of that, right? 2020, 20. Why my eye matters then? Ah, okay. So, um, I think, you know, what I, I see is there are a lot of uh, primary eye care professionals, yes. right? Opticians, optometrists who really believe, right, in, in the eye health of, of, you know, the people they serve. Yeah. But um, it's, it's an industry that's often, you know, overshadowed by the idea of just selling glasses, right? Ah, yes. People think that when they go to an optical shop, they're there to buy glasses. But mm. in reality, a lot of uh, uh, what we call practices, right, mm -hmm. optometry practices, they are actually well-trained, right? And they even have all the comprehensive equipment, mm. right? Mm. To um, check the health of your eyes, right? And, yes. you know, here right. we have some portable equipment, ah. you right. know, that we can bring even to workplaces, to homes, right? To mm. check, especially if you have family members who, you know, for it's, it's, it's not so convenient to, to, to go out. Mm -hmm. And um, for kids, in fact, you know, this one that you see actually is a non-contact kids vision screening, right? This. Yes, it's non-contact, right? So you, the kid stands or it's one meter away you don't actually you know um, need to get them to see you know essentially it takes a picture of the, the, the oh. kids eyes and it can give you a sense oh, right a yeah. quick a quick screening right. ah okay so so if right? i'm here Zuria yeah. is there yeah. we one can meter yeah. Yeah. one meter it's, it's, and it can take yeah so it, usually you need to go onto the machine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, mean, I thought um, so yeah yeah, so I guess the idea is this is not a comprehensive eye exam. I just want to, you know, say okay. that a few times. It is a vision screening. So okay. it's just, it's like a quick way of figuring out whether there are issues so mm -hmm. that your child can go, you know, and yeah. see an eye care professional, be it an eye doctor or an okay. optometrist. I see. Right? Um, mm -hmm. huh? okay. And of course, you know, when you go to the stores and the clinics, there's obviously a lot of equipment and, 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 and to do it. Um, right. So I guess what I'm really trying to do is really to build a go-to site okay. for mm -hmm. um, one, eye care information and knowledge, uh -huh. like a, Wiki a Wikipedia for eye care, uh -huh. and okay. two, almost like a trip advisor for eye care professionals, okay. right? Where okay. anyone who wants to find a trusted eye care professional can go and search, right? The one that, that has, you know, s specific solution they want, experience mm. and location, right? And we would have independent reviews. We've, we've started with that, right? Um, where we get every single customer who who is, goes to our partner stores to actually write a review and give us their honest feedback. I see. Right? Okay. Because ultimately, you know, we want this to be uh, a neutral and in a way like a, a really, it's it's like the power of the masses, right? Mm. Yeah, who, who, who has good experiences, you know, ultimately more people will go to them. I see. Yeah. It's like an all-in-one stop platform yeah. for resources for yeah. everything I help. Yeah, and I it could, see. you know, it could be anything from oh, um, is my child at risk of myopia? Okay, yeah. Or I see floaters, which a lot more, o which a lot of people who are older experience, right? Is that a cause for concern, right? A lot of floaters. people see floaters, right? Okay. So some people, uh, s for some, it is it's actually normal. 
For okay. others, it can be a sign of a more serious condition. Yeah. Right. Mm. So oh. how do you know? Right. Of course, consult your eye care professional. But we hope that at least you know we have a lot more content and articles for you to read about. I see. Right. Mm. Um, and I mean there would be you know things like, oh, um, my my father right mm. is having blurred vision, right? Mm. What could that mean? What is right? blurred vision? Blurry vision. Oh, blurry, right. blurry, blurry vision. vision. What am I thinking? Right. So, <laughs> so, so, for vision? example, right, we went to, you know, uh, a 69 year old senior's house recently, okay. right, to okay. check his vision, thinking that, oh, he might need eyeglasses. And the reason why we went to his house is because he's, he's housebound because of, you know, he had some hip, you know, mm. fracture yeah. and he cannot really walk anymore. Mm. And what struck us was that, hey, actually, he didn't need eyeglasses. He had ca- advanced cataract, oh dear. and he oh. did not. He has not even gone for an, an eye exam, right? Even at this yeah. age, because he's you know um, he doesn't have access to it, right? He yeah. didn't know about it. And if my optometrist had not you know noted that, then you know we you know we would have gone on to make you know a pair of glasses which does not help him mm. you know yes. see better unless he goes for surgery yes. and his family members are asking us what is that because like you said right the, the general population mm. has very little awareness yes. of yes. what conditions are what they should do you know uh, is it treatable yes mm. you know what does it mean um, and then we have you know I encountered a couple of like acquaintances other customers mm. whose own family members then have Acute eye issues, right? Okay. And then, like in the middle of the night, they will say, "Hey, you know what? We went to see this, you know, eye care professional, but we're not sure, right? Mm. Whether this was the right assessment. Can you recommend another one for a second opinion, right?" And I realized, right, that actually there is no real place to go, yeah. you know, yeah. today to say, "Hey, who can I trust for my yes. or my loved one's eye condition that is worrying me? Will he or I go blind the next day?" You know, it's real. Because you're right. Um, like for my case, right? Although I don't wear glasses, so sometimes I, I, I can't see. Yeah. You know, sometimes I get blurred. Yeah. Mm. It's normal. So I, I don't really know where to seek help. Mm. Or right. if I were to go to a, like like a op- op- optometrist or yeah. a spectacle mm. shop, yeah. right? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what, what question to, to ask. What, like, how to even tell them. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. Like, I just feel like I'm going there to get glasses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which you may not need. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. So that is yeah. a real. Actually, it's a real concern. At least from my experience, yeah. right? So yeah. like, while what you're saying is a real eye opener. And the other thing, right? That yeah. thank you for the pun. <laughs> 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 um. The other thing, because I mean, obviously, I was working right in the world's largest lens manufacturer for six years. Was mm. I mean, I did not know anything about lenses, obviously, prior, right? Just like any mm. other person. Even though I had been wearing glasses since I was seven, mm-hmm. was that a lot of people do who wear glasses? do not know what lenses they're wearing or what mm. features they should be having, right? Yeah. So I think, um, yes, the eye care professional does play a role in educating them, but I think there is a space for a, what I call a direct-to-consumer. Okay. okay. You know, education yes. for, mm. you know, what lenses suits your lifestyle, suits your needs. So ah. that when you go to the store, you can tell them, hey, actually, I want this. You know, it's almost ironic mm. that okay. people research like, spend so much time researching on, okay, this is the latest iPhone and these are the features. Yes. Right. And they know it a lot more than something that should be helping them protect their eyes on a regular basis. Yes, you're right. Mm. Right? So yeah. it's almost like, you know, the, the stores, Singtel does not need to tell you, right, what feature iPhone has. Mm. You already know and you say, I want this. Mm. I think yeah. that is the gold standard we should be, you know, aspiring for something that's so important to our vision. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because, I mean, even for myself, <laughs> anything I related, I search for is like the cheapest contact lens. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like coloured contacts, olive, which will suit my skin tone. <laughs> yeah. I know, very vain, but like, yeah, I haven't had like even I haven't even gone back to to check my eye properly. I just mm. gone and be like, is like do I need new glasses yeah. or what? I never went for like a proper eye exam. So Probably the last one was in primary school. I see. I so we've wow. been prioritizing yeah. <laughs> fashion. It's, it's, no, it's rather easy to get lost, right? Ah, and and, and lost. to be fair, yes. it's important, right? Yes. How you look is a function of not just the lens yes. you yes. have, but also the frames Correct. or the colors on your eyes, mm. right? I mean, it's mm. it's completely legitimate. I think yes. it's just important to balance ah, them and yes. not forget. That's right. Yeah, yeah, like my lenses don't cater to my astigmatism. 
<laughs> oh. so I don't know if that's a bad thing or what. I've been so wearing it for one month. Is it very blurred then when you wear them? No, I don't know. My okay. astigmatism like went up and down, so I probably should go and check. Like if I take out my glasses, yeah. my power isn't very strong. It's like hundred, but it's super blurry because I, I think my astigmatism just got worse. Okay, that's all. Uh, speaking of look and super blurry, right? Yeah, I noticed there's this. Yes. This is a portable, uh, what we call a fundus camera, which basically okay. takes a picture of your retina. Oh. Right? Oh. And um, actually, a ret- the retina is actually an amazing, you know, thing because it can, it can almost, it can almost diagnose many amazing condi- oh. con- conditions that are not eye-related. Okay. Right? Oh, Be it right. like stroke, right? Or even, mm. in fact, it's gone you into can. things like, you know, heart diseases and other things, right? I so see. basically, even a, like high blood pressure, I mean, it, it tells you mm. a lot of different things. I see. And what is um, very popular now in this industry is there's a lot of AI, artificial intelligence yeah. technology, where um, this is linked to a software, for example, right? Okay. And mm. in seconds, once the picture of the your retina is taken with this device, mm. it can actually generate you know, a report on do you have cataract, do you have diabetic retinopathy, oh. you know, do you have certain illnesses or conditions that I are know. even not eye related. Yeah. Oh. It's 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 um there are lots of players in the scene right okay. now. So can you imagine a time when, you know, you can get, you know, a diagnosis in seconds. You don't uh. need to wait two weeks for the doctor to send you a report. And what they have found is that because it's AI, right? And it's mm-hmm. deep learning it's actually even more accurate than what the human grader of the images can do. Oh. Yeah. Because, so you know, let's say if, you know, I'm a human and I'm tired of yeah. seeing a thousand images in a day, I might, you know, mm. you know make a okay. mistake. Make a right? mistake, but yes. But the, the deep learning is... is, is wow. Accurate. Yeah, I guess it complements, right? What mm. the eye care professionals can do so that, you know, ultimately mm. they have the, the best, uh, I would say, most accurate assessment. I see. Patient. And does yeah. this work? Um, yeah, I mean, I can Could show you later. Demo? I can show you later. Yeah, oh, it's okay. actually... Um, so how, how do you usually... It's, it's actually, you have to, you know, basically you have to focus, right? And then go mm. all the way into her eye. Okay. Oh. And then it will auto-focus and take a picture of it. Yeah, ah. You don't have to press onto the eye. So you got to press this onto the... Yeah. Yeah, this oh, one press is onto the eye. eye. Yeah, this is, not, this is not like uh, like that one where you could just oh, take a picture. Okay. One I the see. Way you, you, could, you could... Ah. Yeah, because you, I mean, the retina is, is, is at the back, right? You have yes, to go very right. far in. So you have to go, okay, yeah, yeah, have to yeah, go yeah, yeah, very yeah, far yeah. in. I yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Maybe, maybe check out our TikTok or Instagram for yeah. like... Uh, yeah. like How a, do we... A demo of this? Yes, you know. So... This is very important that today I learned. Yes, check out our TikTok at the demo. Yeah, Yeah. it's quite interesting. We have actually, you know, um, uh, home, you know, optical services available. So you go to a person's home. Where you know people who where it's not not convenient for them to to come, you know, Mm. to to go to stores, uh, for whatever reason, you know, or or like those with kids, you know, where ah. they, they feel uncomfortable, maybe mm. in a clinical setting, then we can start with things like the kids' vision screening. I see. Yeah, mm. or even like, you know, patients who have difficulty like sitting. Okay. Because this, right. this is more flexible, right? Yeah. You don't need to right. do, you know, a tabletop equipment is, yeah. is, is less flexible. Yes, yes, yes. In the comfort yeah. of your own home. Because yeah. sometimes yeah. when you, you step in like a doctor's office, like, oh my yeah. God, what, what's yeah. all this? It's like... I only see the letters. Yeah, like a what? Yeah. Like, like, the machines. Why got like some torture device? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look like torture device. I mean, but of course, right? If you have certain conditions, mm. then you definitely still need mm. to go to the clinic. Yes, they have the the most comprehensive, sophisticated set of uh. equipment, which costs like you know a lot of money, right? Mm. And they will be able to do all the I comprehensive see. assessments we need. But I guess okay. this is a basic screening because not everybody will go to the eye doctor. Yes, right? yes. that's yes. right. That's right. And you bring it to their home. Yeah. The comfort yeah. of their home. Yeah. Or okay. workplace. Or workplace. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's very insightful of like how you mentioned like um how it like can even detect like diabetic yeah. um, myopia. Retinopathy. Uh, yeah. Retinopathy. What it means. Yeah. I mean there are a lot of eye issues yeah. associated with diabetes. I've I've mm. read about I've read yeah. about that and how it generally can also tell a lot about your health. I mean, because your body is like interconnected. Yeah. Yes, other. that's right. Um yeah. I also realized that when I stress also my eye like my jaw ah. I will like clench mm. my jaw a lot and then it will like give me headache or like yeah. I see I yeah. so like that was that's my own like personal observation of my own body but how you explain like even like 
all these technology can help you to really yeah. dissect all these information a lot more like accurately mm, so mm, it's mm, a lot more yeah. accurate towards the patient to and the, patient, the patient's right. diagnosis oh. Okay. Yeah. There's another thing that, mm. you know, um, a lot of us do not, you know, really realise and it's really sun, right? Because we sun, always talk yes. about screen, 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 yes, right? Because yes, yes. we are spending time. But then we are actually outdoors and mm. the UV index in Singapore mm. is actually higher than that of Australia, right? A lot of people don't know that, right? And is it? Yeah. And actually... We, I thought we, Australia we, was... Yeah. Us. And, you know? and, you know, what's interesting is that people always... Uh, think that oh we should wear sunglasses when we maybe go overseas for travel but actually back in 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 our dear own country when we go out in the sun right yeah. to do whatever right even when we're driving right and the glare and the uv hits us it oh. actually gives you know puts us at higher risk of you know diseases like cataract you know um even and those. yeah i mean basically it can age our eyes prematurely Right, it's what we call harmful exposure to blue light, and this blue Ah, blue comes from not just the screens but the sun too. Oh, yeah. So you know, as simple as sunglasses, right? They do not cause very much at all, but you know, they can help to you know save your vision. Like the transition lens. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. But a lot of young people tell me they don't like transitions. Looks funny. Yeah. <laughs> Every young person, nobody, no young person I know tells me they like transitions. Yeah. I see. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's interesting. Because it yeah. looks funny. Like, with uh. like, because for example, with this kind of frame, yeah. then you do transition, it's like, what? Uh. It like, turns clear, well, soon <laughs> enough. Yeah, uh. but we, like, sunglasses is different yeah 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 i mean and and what what the industry has been trying to to you know push and 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 it's still it's still quite hard is that how many pairs of shoes do you have well quite a lot countless okay and how many pairs of shoes do you have like quite a few like staples yeah, yeah. okay yeah, so how many staples. pair of glasses do you have <laughs> exactly right so, so it has to fit for purpose so what you what you <laughs> you know wear outdoors yeah. would be different from what you wear at home uh, for example right basically you know if you need to to spend a lot of time on the screens then there's such a thing called anti fatigue computer glasses oh, right okay and that's different anti-fertic from com- okay. just glasses you know to help you see far you know there are many different types, right, of lenses that suit different purposes. I see. Right? Mm. Yeah. And, you know, sun, so sun, prescription sunglasses. Prescription. Right? A lot of people think that sunglasses oh. are just like in non prescription form. So I can put it in your exact power. Ah. Right? Okay. So, you know, then there are lenses for seeing, you know, just the computer to help you relieve eye fatigue because the, the power is um, lower at the end. I see. Sorry, lower at the bottom of the lens and higher at the top. Okay. So it's different. It's ah. not just a single pillar. So, so I mean, things like I that. Guess. Even yeah. for those like who who are so called six six. Like yourself. Like my my myself. Yeah. You know? So if I'm going out, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay to. We should. You should be wearing we that. Yeah. Wear Especially if you drive, right? Ah. I mean, mm. the glare. Oh my gosh, the glare is just very mm. difficult. I mean, for me as well. I see. Right when I drive. Yeah. So I think this is. So we should wear sunglasses. Yeah. Right? So everybody, oh. if you are out playing, driving, wear sunglasses not only do you look cool you protect your eyes because your eyes matter too yes right yes Uh uh-huh very funny because i will invest a lot in sunscreen for the skin yes 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 (laughs) yes spot on yes it is the eyes of sunscreen exactly it's a revelation because we will put sunscreen there's SPF like 500 thingy 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 but we never think to protect our eyes I mean, I do know there's like a few special lenses, ah. like blue. I don't know. I had like yes. one lens that was like blue, blue cover. Yeah. Ah. yeah quite, quite funky. I had anti fog lens also. Mm-hmm. I see. Wow. Yeah. So, it's just it's just very interesting. Like as a wearer myself, yeah. That like I also like get exposed to new new like terms of like different lenses. Yes. Yeah. And you know. I know you don't wear, you know, glasses and you don't need them now. But as you get older, you know, 40-ish, yes. then you tend to have issues seeing near. And that's just a sign of aging. Everybody gets that. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, so, yeah. um, you know, at some point, if you find that you cannot read your phone, mm-hmm. right? And I- even if you try to do that, there's a limit to mm-hmm. how far your arm can go. Then it's yeah. a sign that you need glasses. I see. Right. So speaking of that, right? Like, like yeah. you go that, right? Then, you know, 
you go to like Daiso, right? And then you yeah. can, you see they sell those two dollar glasses, yes. and then sometimes you see people there's like yeah. trying on, and yeah. then like they call it reading glasses yes. or something. Yes. So, are, are those well? Legit? I guess I guess you know um, the most important thing is you know um, before you want to go to Daiso and buy that, yeah. you need to take an eye exam. Right? Ah, okay. Right, and you know, first of all, check for eye conditions, and to know your exact power, right? Because yes. it may be that your left eye's power for seeing near might be different for for your from your right eye, ah. from that of your right eye, mm. and um, it could be that you may have other you know condition uh, refractive errors like astigmatism, right? So then you need a customized pair of of of, yeah. of lenses. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And of course, you know, those do not come with things like you know blue protection mm. or you know certain features that can help to protect your eyes so obviously those are, are really very basic but i guess you know i think it's all about relativity right yes. in a place you know like you know like i said my work involved going around to all parts of the world like in a village in china for example okay okay that would be like a godsend Right, because yep. they would not have access to maybe eye care professionals, mm. you know, who could do refraction for for yeah. them and give them the right prescription. So that is better than not wearing anything at all, and you know, asking you know their family members to do stuff yep. for them, yeah, mm. or straining their eyes. I see. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now I really gotta get my eyes checked. Yeah, I'm happy to help. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so it's like if I were to just go and like go in like my usual place I go get my glasses like do you think it might also help just as a customer to just like ask oh like what am I what is like my eye situation like my you need to check whether the store has the equipment Mm. okay right and the right professional to do it okay Mm. because optometrists are different Mm. from opticians they have different Ah. um uh, training and qualifications. So yes. opticians are not allowed to do an eye exam. Optometrists are. I see. Right. Okay. So we don't know whether your store mm. has, you know, is run by an optician or optometrist, because okay. technically both can prescribe glasses. You would need to mm. check, right? I, they, see. I think they hang, hang their certificates in the store. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a lot of people, you know, confuse yeah. that, and 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 it's also a sign that how how we have moved as a country, because mm. um, in in the days when my dad had to wear glasses, right. And there were only opticians and not optometrists, right? But the the trade has, you know, kind of like, you know, gone yeah. higher and mm. higher. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I see. I remember I learned a term called ophthalmologist. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the eye doctors. Eye the eye doctors. The yes. eye doctors. So the optometrists, you know, if they do an eye exam on you and they see there might be a condition, then they would refer you to an eye doctor. So ah. if think of the optometrist as a primary eye care or your GPs, your eye care GPs. Okay. Right? Um, and GPs. if you go to a GP, a real GP, right, to, to for something related to your eyes, they may not have the actual equipment yeah. mm. for you to... For, for for them to be able to do a proper diagnosis. Okay. Even if they could interpret the images. I okay. I see, yeah. I see. Wow, okay. We learned a lot today yes. about our eyes. Yes. Right. So all right, let's before we wrap up, right, uh guys, please comment below. Yes. What you have uh your experience about your eyes or experience about wearing glasses again, yeah, please comment below. And before we wrap the whole show up I would like to ask uh, Wei Wen, okay, if you can start all over again, uh, okay, what will you tell people about, uh, you know, your journey so far? Wow, that's a really <laughs> big question. Um, well, in a way, I am really just starting, you mm. know, um, it's been less than a year. Um, I think, I think it's not to assume, right, not to assume that, you know, people behave in a certain manner, you know, or that once you educate, you know, people on the eye care, that they would immediately go and take an eye exam tomorrow, right? Mm. I would say conversion, right, or even awareness to begin with takes time, especially yes. for a topic that is not sexy, ah. right? It's, 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 um, it's almost boring, dry, and maybe mm. more scary, mm. right? And some people mm. don't want to think about this. So I would say... Maybe be patient, right? That will what that would be what I tell myself, okay. right? Be patient, right? Um, the dental industry, for example, they took maybe thirty years to get people to remember that they need to check their teeth twice a year, yeah. right? So it will take decades, right, before there is a, a widespread awareness okay. of 
you know, go and get regular exams. Your kid must be on a myopia management solution. Mm. Don't take your vision for granted. You know, they are a really precious asset. Mm -hmm. You know, until you lose it, then you realize it's too late, mm. right? I think there's so much that um, I think we all can help each other, mm. you know, remind each other to take care of our eyes. Ah, yeah. mm. right. So for those of you who are starting to think, you know, about your eyes, your loved one, the eyes of your, the sight yeah. of your loved ones, right? Please look for Wei Wen. Yeah, who happy is to help. the journey. And how can people look for you in any, um, in any way? Well, um, we have our website, myeyematters.com. You can also look for us on Facebook. I think we can, you know, tag ourselves yes, on, we'll, on we'll yours. Yeah. And um, we are just uh, a, web, a WhatsApp message away. 8850-1568. Ah. Uh, 8850-1568. Or email us, hello at myimatters.com. Ah. You know, um, send us a Facebook message or Instagram, yes. you know, myimatters. And okay. uh, we're happy to help. Ah, right. So look out below in the description for all the links that we will put in, right, to get connected with Wei Wen and My Eye Matters. And thank you very much, Wei Wen. It thank has you. been very eye opening today. Thank you. I really yes. appreciate both of your, yeah. um, you know, in insights as well and wisdom. I think I've learned a lot from you today. Oh. Yeah. We have We've learned, learned more. more. <laughs> yes, way more. Thank yeah, you, way more you. today. And now I really have to go and get my eyes checked because I can't take it for granted that it's always going to be 6-6. Six, six. And your wife and your kids. And my wife, and yes. Parents. And my kids and my parents too. And your friends. Yes, and, and your my students. friends. Yes, everyone. <laughs> right. Get your eyes checked now. Go to www.myeyematters.com to get a uh, book it's and appointment. It's myeyematters.com. There's no my w. My <laughs> That's fine. It's just to keep things simple, right? Okay. Just type my eye matters. My or even matters. Google my matters, it will pop up. Yes. Nice. Yeah. As you right. know, on point. Yes. Yeah. On point. Not like me. No point. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next episode. Stay well. Stay smiley. And open your eyes when you're driving. Goodbye. <laughs>